Hi guys, I'm Julie, the Overlander next door. Come on, let's go install some stuff on my FJ. All right, today I'm gonna to be recording a bison gear uh, molly panel on to the back of the FJ. First, I've got to take everything out of the FJ, so <laughs> let's get to it. <laughs> so I've actually got to remove one of my mollies that I already have here, so I'm gonna to have to remove that. Okay. Got a headlight. Box stick. Another headlight. So I'm gonna put them over here. A little carrying case thingy, which I think I'm gonna put all my stuff in it. So. Stuff that has to go in it. I'm gonna take this stuff off. <laughs> Now we have to take the old thing down. Hi, honey. Hi. Can you see how everything's going? Grab it or did you grab it already? Ah! What? Did you grab it already or no? Uh -huh. Oh look, there's a spider web here. Oh, shoot. There's stuff in there. You see the dead stuff in there? And there's a fly that's in there. It's actually a really big web. I wish you guys could see it. I don't like spiders, but... <laughs> I'll take these things off in a bit. But for now, I'm going to see how the new one goes on. Ah! This is the new one. This is the old one. And this is the new one. Opening up. Uh, chimichanga! <laughs> He's opening it up. I guess a knife would be good. Probably a good idea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's over there opening it up, just, you know, with his bare hands, you know, just man style. <laughs> this will work better. Take the battery out of the GoPro. Whoa, cool bison gear, FJ sticker. <laughs> nice, there's the attic. Whoop! I didn't do it. Nuts and bolts right here. Huh. Oh, you got a patch too, look at that. Sweet! I got a patch? Oh yeah. Ooh, that's a nice patch. Yeah. That's a really nice patch. <laughs> More stickers! More stickers! Woo! <laughs> ah! Yeah, those go on the windows. Cool. Yeah. Alright, so this goes backwards like this. That's how it goes in there. It's gonna be complicated to get that in there. <laughs> Like that, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, weird. They're the same size windows, but. But they're different size. No. But it's supposed to go out here, like. Did it grab the other big one? Oh, there's spider webs. I forgot to get the spider webs. In here? Probably. FJ Cruiser. And we go down to the Monty Panel. All right, so yeah, so it, it goes over there, I think. A couple squares. It only has one. Let me see. Yeah, I said about some buffer. Um. Maybe this goes like this. But that 3M goes on. Oh, maybe. Maybe it goes. So I think this one is going to go here, and this piece is going to go in there. I think that's how it goes. Maybe. Doesn't seem right though. Huh. Definitely should be like that. I guess that would work. I think I figured it out. I think this piece goes into the center piece right here, and then this piece here is going to go onto the bottom side there. Well, we'll put the screws together right now here, but I think that's how it goes. Now the question is, how does the rack go? 
I think the rack actually will slip into this, like it sets into it, and then you bolt it up to there. I think that's how it does it. Like there's screws here. What are the screws for? <laughs> here, and I believe this one goes like this. Probably through there. It's hard to do one-handed. Like that, through there. And then I believe another washer goes on the back with a lock washer. So I think that's how we do it. I think that's how we do it. <laughs> another one. Oh yeah, that's definitely how it goes. So I believe this is how it goes. This piece and that piece. And I'm pretty sure this then proceeds to go up there like that. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. <laughs> So we got the next side piece, which is this big piece right here. We've got a bunch of little thingies and the big thingy. And uh, we got four little thingies here. So the four little thingies, I don't know. The big thingy I'm gonna guess is gonna <laughs> go up there. Um, yeah. So, so these guys right here, I know what these guys are too, because I've done the other one orange box molly panel. I've done that before. So I know these go to bottom piece. So these actually will slide into here and that's how that secures it down is like that. So yeah, so these pieces actually stay right in the back here. When you put this piece on, it goes behind there like that. And then you'll probably bolt it into this, probably the bottom section, honestly. Let's see what it looks like with it up though. Yeah, that makes sense. It goes exactly where I thought it went. <laughs> so we're gonna take another little bolt and another little washer. That's gonna go through here. So now I'm confused. I'm confused on how to get the shelf on. So I know how to bolt these. I've done, this side is very similar to the orange box one. Yeah. But I'm trying to figure out to what these go to. Cool I'm like guessing. That, right? Yeah, but so you think they go into the here? Screw holes. Well, that's yeah. <laughs> so this is going to be on the window like this, right? So here, try the lower one. Yeah, you're probably right Dust then. It up and down. You don't really, <laughs> yeah. first. So we've got the 10 one here and a little guy here. Hi there, babe. Hi. I just don't know how tight I need to make this before I... Well, that's good that they included the nylon nut. Yeah. There we go. The bison gear has this hole, which is gonna make tightening it so much easier because you'll actually be able to reach your hand into the back and still hold something. Whereas all the other ones, they didn't really have this open hole here. So like, I would have to like shove my hand back there and like try to hold it. And like, it was just so bad. So this is amazing because you can reach back in there and actually get to those bolts. I was wondering what that hole was for. Put this up there. Cleaning my Dominic. You want me to hold it? She got it. Alright, alright, so you see that this piece that comes with your FJ goes back into its spot. You're gonna take one of these little spacers right here. You're gonna put that spacer in there. You're gonna take this gigantic huge bolt right here. Tight like that. Clee. So this is the hard part that I always had is getting it in the hole correctly. Not gonna do it all the way because I want to get the other one in there. All right, stick the other guy right here in its rightful place. The other gigantic little black thing and shove it in there. Take the big bolt with the washer, shove it on in that hole. <laughs> Easy, breezy, beautiful, Molly panel install. Okay, there you go, all tightened. Good to go. Switching sides, babe. Can't see me because my battery box is in my way. <laughs> um, it's a little weird. Wiggly woggly. 
So yeah, let's put this guy up there first. This is where it's complicated. And then this is where I'm confused a little bit. <laughs> I, mean, I know it goes here. It's just then uh, the uh, the uh, um, yeah, because this can't go any farther over. Does the uh, does the um, rack actually line up? So I want to tighten this and see. All right. So I know complicated. <laughs> Should just go in. Sure I do. Got it good. Get it, got it good. And I'm doing this in a dress, guys. I'm crazy. <laughs> behind the scenes, behind the scenes. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Yes, I'll have you hold it up. Totally helping. What? Just an extra hand, really. <laughs> You are. He's a good extra hand. I like yeah. him. I like him helping me. My hand holds the bison gear. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Got an extra little washer. I must have forgot somewhere somewhere over the rainbow. Eh, whatever. Not just one hand, two hands. Whoa. So I think we should do the more stable side first, probably, right? Oh, maybe we should tighten this first to see why this thing is freaking awesome. It can be like, like that. Whereas like before when I had to do that, I had to like shove my hand in between little cracks. Like you see the little cracks right here? Yeah, but- I, would have, I was like having to do that. Oh, that's not So this good. is so much easier. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. All right, I think I have these tightened. But I'll get the other pieces out first. Hey. You can put cool molly bags over the holes if you want to. I think I want it higher. That's way yeah, too low. Yeah, that's pretty low. But, yeah. you know, so... I'm going to put it up here. The thing, ah, it's going to be... You're no, gonna, that's fine. Look at it. I have ridge, all this. So here, let's, let's mark that up. Be yeah, like that's perfect. Up in there. Yeah, as long as that's good. I like that. That's way yeah, better. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, that's actually not. Yeah. Seeing it like that. That's way better. That makes sense. So I'm gonna put it up here. And you can actually adjust it. Cool. So I'm gonna take it off of that and I'm gonna put it up there. These holes are so amazing. <laughs> you ready to go and sell some stuff, babe? Mm-hmm. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to lift up your attic. Stuff. Ooh, lift my attic. Yeah. <laughs> Extra hands always help. <laughs> part is the scary part. You have to do it. Well, I don't know if you have to, you probably do. But you have to drill these little bolts into the holes inside of the air. Rotated it. <laughs> Go tighten the other side first. Ouch. Carpal tunnel sucks. Makes it very difficult to breathe this carpal tunnel, by the way, guys. All right, this side is all tight and done. Now I gotta tighten the other side. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. Goodbye. enjoyed the video of my bison gear molly panel and shelf install tune in for the next video as i show you what i put on this and how i set it up 
And again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Peace, guys.